Welcome to the world of luxury. We pamper ourselves with four top Mercedes BMW SU Audi limousines. But first let's start with the new S-Class. The new S-Class is the first Mercedes-Benz developed on the new MRA platform. It has increased in size compared to the previous generation. Length 5,179 meters, plus 5,4 m, width 1,954 meters, plus 5,5 m, height as 1,503 meters, plus 1,2 m. The long wheelbase version covers 5,255 meters. The aerodynamic coefficient of the new generation is 0.22, one of the best values in the automotive industry. The exterior design is dominated by a horizontal theme for the optical blocks equipped with the latest LED technology available in the industry but also by round body shapes, classic for the S-Class. Digital light are the headlights that use video projector technology on the headlights of a car. Every S-Class car with these headlights now has a resolution of over 2.6 million pixels. The headlights can display on the road, in front of the car an excavator symbol if the car detects a road in operation, can warn pedestrians on the side of a road with a light spot. Stop, signs or traffic lights will be detected and announced by the symbol on asphalt, in front of the car, if the roads are narrow, Two lanes of light will be designed in front of the car so that the driver can correctly determine its width. Next, you will notice retractable door handles, a premiere at Mercedes-Benz. Inside, the main novelty is the new 12.8-inch touchscreen on the center console. The air conditioning system has been integrated at the bottom of the display. The instrument panel is completely digital and is selectable in four themes discreet, sporty, exclusive, classic, and the information will be displayed in 3D format, without the need for 3D glasses for viewing, because two video cameras analyze the driver's gaze and displays information so that it is perceived as 3D. Moreover, the new S-Class also adopts an augmented reality head-up display that will provide useful information about navigation or active assistance systems, with images projected at a distance of 10 meters in front of the car. The MBUX infotainment system includes many features through which engineers have removed no less than 27 physical buttons, including those for the air conditioning system, while the digital assistant has been updated to recognize up to 27 languages. From now on, the voice command, Hey, Mercedes, will be recorded from anywhere in the car, not just from the driver. The sound system is provided by Burmester. Standard, it has 9125W speakers, but customers can also opt for two superior variants, 15 speakers with 710W and 30 speakers with 1750W. The steering wheels are taken from the new E-Class, the facelift 2020 with the mention that the models that will equip the Level 3 Autonomous S's will have extra buttons on the steering wheel ring. Napa leather chairs include heating, ventilation and 10 types of massage. The ambient lighting system will consist of 250 LEDs positioned at a distance of 1.6 cm from each other. They will provide a continuous light band in various areas of the interior. Their brightness will be 200 candelas per square meter, i.e. 10 times higher than at present, and the intensity can be set in 20 steps by the driver, as well as the shade of lighting. Mercedes-Benz S-Class receives the E-Active Body Control Suspension, already present on several models of the manufacturer, including GLS and GLE Coupe and GLE. It has a 48-volt system and uses several multi-core processors, over 20 sensors and a video camera to analyze traffic events 1,000 times per second. Optionally, the new S-Class can also be ordered with full steering. At speeds below 60 km per hour, the system turns the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the front wheels, while at speeds above 60 km per hour the system turns the rear wheels in the same direction as the front wheels for better stability. In fact, Mercedes-Benz will provide two. Second on our Porsche Panamera facelift list it is available as Panamera, the sports limousine, as they call it, but also as Sport Turismo or Executive, increased wheelbase, 
Face design for facelift is dominated by stylization, sport design, with spoiler with very wide cut grills. The daytime running lights from the turbo are now restyled. The two lanes are further apart. In the back, the LED strip on the other models of the brand was adopted here as well. GTS models have tinted glass blocks. More recently there are 10 models of rims available. On 20 and 21 there are three completely redesigned models. The Porsche Communication Management PCM, infotainment system has been improved and offers new services. The systems expressly mentioned by Porsche in the model communication are Lane Keeping Assist with Road Sign Recognition, now standard, but also Porsche Inno Drive with Adaptive Cruise Control, Night Vision Assist, Lane Change Assist, LED Matrix Headlights with PDLS Plus, Park Assist with Surround View and Head Up Display. Turbo becomes Turbo S. From now on, the top of the range has 630 horsepower and 820 Newton meters. 0 to 100 in 3.1 seconds. Top speed, 315 kilometers per hour. A Panamera Turbo S 2020 completed the Nürburgring Norschleif set by test driver Lars Kern in 729.81, that is, 20,832 in 729.81. For a limousine 5 meters long. So we look at the new, fastest production sedan in the world. Panamera GTS. 480 horsepower, 620 newton meters. Has a, new exhaust system, sport. We can't wait to hear it. Panamera and Panamera 4 to 2.9 V6 Paturbo. 330 horsepower, 450 newton meters, Panamera 4 SE Hybrid, two electric motors integrated in the PDK box with eight ratios, 440 horsepower, 560 newton meters, boost at 750 newton meters, 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds, 298 kilometers per hour top speed, 17.9 kilowatt hours battery. WLTP Autonomy City, up to 54 kilometers.
the Germans announced a new era of design, based on the wide, low single-frame grille and a muscular body, but at the same time elegant. The car is undoubtedly imposing, but somewhat simple. The brand identity is well defined with the help of HD Matrix Lex headlights with Audi laser lighting and LED strip with OLED technology on the back. The taillights create an animation when they are on and off. It is very easy to be impressed by this equipment which is ultimately a safe one. The Audi A8 has grown in size on all levels, with a length of 5,172mm 5 a width of 1,945mm, a height of 1,488mm and a wheelbase of 2,998mm The numbers in parentheses are for the A8L version. In terms of engines, the Germans put forward everything they have to offer. The base will be 3.0 TDI that develops 286 horsepower, followed by 3.0 TFSI with 340 horsepower. V6 units will face the temptation of V8, 4.0 TDI with 435 horsepower and 4.0 TFSI with 460 horsepower are probably the most balanced engines for such a large limousine. And for those with a helping hand, Audi is proposing the new 6.0 W12 TFSI with 585 horsepower, essentially the engine from the Bentley Bentayga. We must not forget the 48-volt electrical system on board each A8 that will allow the car to go into coasting mode with the engine off and then start with a special alternator. It complements the braking energy recovery system and the start-stop system. The chassis relies on both comfort and agility. Adaptive air suspension with hydraulically controlled shock absorbers and four driving modes as standard. For a fee, the all-wheel drive, sports differential and an active Audi AI suspension will be available that operate each wheel individually and can even increase ground clearance in the event of a side accident to protect passengers. Also under the Audi AI umbrella are Traffic Jam Pilot the first fully autonomous driving system up to 60 km per hour on national roads or highways and parking and pilot garage with remote parking function. Onboard technology does not stop here. The car monitors the surroundings using sensors, cameras and laser scanners, industry premiere. In total, 41 driver assistance systems make your life safer behind the wheel, including a system that detects cars coming perpendicular to your direction of travel, curb warning and maneuvering assistance in confined spaces. The infotainment system is called MIB2+, not men in black, but modular infotainment platform and comes with a quad-core processor from NVIDIA and a graphics processor with 192 cores. It is rumored that it would be 50 times faster than the first-generation MIB. Touch screens are part of the charm of the new A8, and the new MMI touch response with two such screens that include haptic and acoustic feedback and that recognize handwriting take human-machine communication to another level. You even have the opportunity to talk to the system, and it can teach you the language and support a dialogue. By comparison, the second-generation Audi Virtual Cockpit, the optional head-up display and the 3D navigation system with four annual updates seem from the last century. And as we talk about a luxury limousine, we can not omit the comfort that comes primarily with more space. Then we can refer to the electric door handles, the new, extra soft, leather seats, we take them literally, depending on the massage or the relaxation chair behind the A8L that comes even with heating and foot massage. Dot. Also from the back you can control most of the car's functions, including the Matrix LED reading lights. Other premieres worth mentioning are the 3D sound in the back, the two-flavor air cleaning package and the light sensor on the rear window that adjusts the air conditioning in case the sun hits you from behind. Is there anything else to say? Of course, the prices. The new Audi A8 will have a starting price of €90,600 including VAT in Germany, and the L version will cost €3,500 more.